Hey guys, welcome back to another video here as we kind of go over how we are kind of putting together this building and everything. So today we're going to be focusing mainly on the ends. Um, so like getting the end wall up and, you know, making the hole for a door and stuff like that. So I do apologize for the amount of time it's taking between each video segment. Uh, it's not necessarily the videos take forever. It's more of finding time to sit down and uh, record the video and do all that. So, uh, just right now it's been a busy part of the year, so I'm just trying to get through it. Um, I'm hoping to get all this done before I go back home for the summer and then I don't have to deal with it anymore. So, uh, might try to ramp it up in the next couple of weeks. We'll see. So, but anyway, um, so this is where we left off in the last video. I will link that, um, there should be a link above i think is where i'll put it um that you can now go click and that should take you to the previous video if you haven't watched it yet i do recommend watching these videos in order um it will help a lot more than just watching from video four to video one to video three to video two or some other work like that so uh it definitely will work out a little bit better that way so i recommend you do that so but with that we will go ahead and get started here so uh we do have our uh apron on this side so this is the side that we will have a shop door on uh, so what i'm gonna do is just go here and we're gonna steal this little beam i'm actually gonna make it the red iron color we need. And then I'm just gonna hit Shift D to duplicate it. And we're just gonna slide it over here. Then what now I'm gonna do is I'm gonna click on this bottom face, or I'm gonna tab into edit mode, then click on the bottom face. I'm gonna go Shift S2. It's gonna put the cursor right on that base. I'm gonna right click, set origin to 3D cursor. What that's gonna do is put it dead center in the bottom there. And then I can go on the Y axis here and go 90 degrees and that will stand it upright. Just like that. And then we're gonna hit uh, rotation and scale to set that. That way so then everything is perfectly how it should be and not having to deal with any weird issues. Then I'm gonna go and go in edit mode on our slab. I'm also gonna do shift S2. And I'm gonna go back to our pole here and hit snap to cursor okay so that will then line us up perfectly with uh the bottom or right on the slab of concrete it's the same height and everything like that and then it's now what we're going to do is just kind of look here and try to get this edge of this kind of lined up with these support posts here that looks fairly decent so um you will have a little bit of room that you can kind of play when it comes to, like adding in the metal or if you decide to wall in uh, the inside, then you definitely have a little bit of room to play to where, like, if you don't have something lined up perfect, you can. Um, I do recommend just trying to line it up as good as you can, though. Definitely helps the long run, so. Oops. Um, so, right now, we're sitting at zero feet in this sense. Um, so, what we're going to do is make this about a... 25 footish wide doors so we're gonna go negative 12 and a half as it is what 25 divided by 2 is and then we're gonna set it offset from the axis so that was in the center of the door is right at zero um hopefully 25 foot will be enough here we might take it to 30 we'll just take it to 30 be safe so we'll take it at negative 50. and right now so right now we're sitting at uh 17.3 feet so i do want to make that a little bit taller so i'm going to take it up to two, 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 two. we'll go 25 feet i think 25 will look decent um so we'll put that there and then what we're going to do is shifty or yeah shifty and then we're just going to go up here and change this to negative or to positive 15. That's uh, so just going to put the post on the other side of our x axis there. Or, yeah, our x axis there. So, um, that will be kind of where our shop door will go. Um, I haven't quite decided how I want to design that quite yet, but I'm kind of going 
buy this by the just however it kind of comes type of deal. So, um, so the next thing we're going to do is we're going to put a bar across the top here. So I'm just going to highlight or shift D another uh, pull here, and then I'm going to go uh, and click on the face here. We're going to shift S2. We're going to go to sub origin 3D cursor. And we're just going to rotate it back another 90 degrees here. So I would set it lays like that. We'll go control A to set rotation and scale. And we're just going to set this to zero here. And then we should be 20. Yeah. Uh, we're going to make it a little bit wider that way so we can kind of picture where it's ma matching up here a little bit better. Um, maybe it's right at 26 feet. Okay, we'll go right there. So that door will likely be more of like 25 and a half, which is okay. So uh, anyway, so that's done now. So we're going to just take it and we're going to scale it out to where it looks like it should kind of meet the edges here. And we will figure out some way how to ch chimney rig this. So, um, now remember, I am not a professional iron worker. I guarantee you this building is not perfect, and I am perfectly okay with that. Uh -huh. A lot of my buildings are not perfect, and I will be the first one to admit that. That is just how it is. I don't. So, anyway, so we're going to go here and put a support bar right here in the middle. We're going to narrow it down. We'll make it just kind of disappear into the truss here. Perfect. Works for me. Um, and then, ideally, then you'll have like more of these bars that are on the side kind of going across from here to there. So, um, trying to think if there's anything else we need bigger steel columns for here. I mean, technically, they're not bigger because they're the same size as these, but you guys get the point. Um, so, what I'm going to do is actually go here and I'm going to go. How do I want to do this here? Uh, we'll go Alt C to turn on like our X ray mode. I'm going to highlight that stuff, highlight that stuff, highlight that stuff. I'm not trying to get any other faces other than those that I selected. I'm going to hit Shift D to duplicate that mesh, and then I'm going to hit P or hit Selection. So that's going to split that mesh up into different sections. So now that this bar is completely just by itself over here, uh, it's not being uh, attached to any mesh. So that's also a good way of, uh, if you already have things in a mesh, that's a good way to split it up so you can use it again. I use it all the time of, if I forget to like set one off to the side, uh, that's, that's exactly how I go about getting another one. So, um, that needs to be negative 90. Perfect. Uh, we're just going to try to line this up somewhat here. We're going to have to kind of just mess with uh, how we kind of approach it here to get it to line up right, but we'll get there. So I'm just going to that down really close to the surface there, and then we're going to go into edit mode. We'll go back into x-ray mode, and I'm going to select uh, vertices up here. You can do it by clicking there, and you can hit uh, the number one on your keyboard. I'm going to highlight all those and we're just going to slide it just this way till the bolts meet up to the edges there. And of course we're a little off, but we'll move it in here in a minute. So we're going to do the same thing on this side um, because the poles are not the same, but if you do this, it like doesn't scale the ends, but it scales like the main red part out of it. So um, and we're just going to do that. Perfect, and then we're just going to take this and 
try to get it to line up best we can. And hopefully, perfect, it's not sticking over. Okay. And that is kind of how I do that. And then I just kind of I'm going to go here and duplicate it. And then I'm just going to try to scale off to these edges the best I can as far as to try to get everything as level as possible with its counterparts here. I want to go up just a little bit and then we'll go shift D. Ideally, I could probably copy that entire span of holes, but uh, this is more of a beginner uh, way to do it. So I figured, come on. There we go. Figured we just do it this way. Um, like I said, it's a good learner way on how to get stuff set up. So, plus we'd have like to deal with this issue here. So, uh, we'll come over here and make sure this is leveled off right. There we go. And then we will. Highlight all that and we will move it in to right about there because I can't make that perfect. So that will work. Okay, so that is that side done. And then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna actually duplicate one of these and just slide it out. That way so we don't have to like pull it out of a mesh earlier, like later, like I had to earlier. I'm just gonna go in and select all of these. And you can hit join on these because they are not like touching each other per se. Uh, they're just kind of here. And then what I generally try to do is I will go into the slot or like a point that I know is the center. So like this line on the slab and I'll go hit shift S2 to bring the cursor there. I'll go here and set the origin cursor to there. I'm going to hit rotation and scale. And I'm going to go to modifiers, add modifier and mirror. I'm going to hit mirror across the Y axis, get rid of the X axis. And that's going to perfectly mirror across that point. That is what it did. So uh, now we have that done. So now we need to go and work on the back side, and then we will be getting pretty close to being done besides uh, roof riders here. Uh, but we are at uh, about 13 minutes now, I think. So uh, we're just going to kind of roll with the flow here. So we're going to line this up about as good as we can. Um, we'll go over here and make sure it's lined up. Actually, we need to rotate this one 90 degrees. That was in the tab that's facing the other way. There we go. Okay. I'm going to go into edit mode again, and I'm going to select all these faces. And we're just going to drag it down this other pole here. And try to get it to match up. Perfect. And then just duplicate it again. I'm going to go into this mode and we're just going to slide it up till it matches out. Um, doing it this way, we should be relatively. What is happening on this end? Oh, maybe. Something is not right on this end. Okay, so we'll highlight all this. And we're just going to slide it down that way. Perfect. Okay. Okay, now that that's lined up, right? We're going to duplicate that. Uh, we can bring it down a little bit here. Not perfect. And then we'll go here and duplicate that. Perfect. And then I think what I'll end up trying to do here is we'll put like a column just right down the middle there. Which I should have done that before I did that, but that's fine. Um, so we're just going to duplicate that and then we will move it to the negative X and hopefully that will line us up perfectly. Maybe if it wants to, there we go. That's pretty good. And then we're just going to go here and switch into base mode. Just like that one. And you're going to 
take it down to the surface. Or to the slot, I guess. Dun, 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 dun. There we go. Magic. And then we'll, how I'm going to fix this is I'm going to select all of these. So I'm going to go into edit mode. And go back to vertices. Highlight all of those. I'm just going to slide it this way. Which will be the easiest and best way to fix this. So that I don't do it again. So anyway, that is done there. I'm going to once again duplicate this and just slide it out of frame here. We don't really need it. Um, but I will likely use the same design for our, our against or our cross dress up above. Uh, so that is that. I'm going to go here and uh, and join all these. And then we're going to go control A and set rotation scale. And we're going to hit set origin to 3D cursor. Go to our modifiers, mirror across the Y axis. Boom. And magic. So anyway, um, I think that's going to wrap this one up, guys. Like I said, I apologize for the amount of videos that it's taking for me to get all this done, but I just haven't had uh, a ton of time that I wish I would have to be able to get this done. Um, but I'm hoping to try to get rolling on a little bit better here. Um, but anyway, so hopefully the video helped. If it did, please consider leaving a like and subscribe to the channel. Um, I try to monitor the uh, YouTube comments as much as I can, but the best place to reach me is in the Discord, which will be in the link tree link in the description. Um, but once again, guys, thank you for watching. And if you haven't, hit that subscribe button. We'll see you again next time. Yeah.